6.7 singular value decomposition or simply SVD. We know a symmetric square matrix is always diagonalizable. We can find orthogonal P diagonal D such that A is equal to PDP transpose. What if A is not symmetric or even not square? It turns out that we can diagonalize any M by N non-square A matrix if we allow a more general form of diagonalization. We can find orthogonal U and V matrix use M by M V is M by N on diagonal sigma so that A is equal to U sigma V transpose. More specifically, for any M by M matrix A of rank K, we can find K positive numbers, sigma 1 to sigma K, in non-increasing order. M by M orthogonal matrix U and M by N orthogonal matrix V such that this is true. And this is sigma matrix here is M by N. The diagonal consists of the K positive numbers. We call the column vectors of U the right singular vectors of A and the column vectors of V the left singular vectors of A. These positive numbers are called singular value of A. And because of the name singular values in sigma, the decomposition or the diagonalization is called singular value decomposition. SVD finds applications in a wide range of areas. It is also one of the most powerful tools in linear algebra. Although we are not going to give a complete proof of theorem 6.18, we can do some simple manipulation to see how, what these matrices U, V, and sigma are. Suppose A is equal to U, sigma, V transpose. Let's consider the product A transpose A. A is U sigma V transpose and A transpose is a V sigma transpose U transpose. U is orthogonal. So U transpose U becomes identity. We have down here V sigma transpose sigma V transpose. There's a sigma transpose a sigma here is a diagonal matrix, M by N diagonal matrix. So what is this? This is something we have learned before. A transpose A is symmetric square matrix. So this thing here is precisely the diagonalization of a symmetric matrices. And this V here, its column vectors are the eigenvectors of A transpose A. And sigma transpose sigma, a diagonal matrix. The diagonal elements are the eigenvalue of A transpose A. So, to obtain V and the sigma, we can simply compute the product a transpose A and compute the eigenvectors and eigenvalues, then we can obtain V and the sigma. Similarly, we can consider the product A A transpose. We put on A and then A transpose, which is V sigma transpose U transpose. This time, sitting in the middle is V V V transpose V. It becomes identity and we have U sigma sigma transpose and U transpose. This is sigma sigma transpose here now is an M by M 
diagonal matrix. AA transpose is a symmetric, so the column vectors of U are the eigenvectors of AA transpose. This provides a mean to compute U. We can first compute the product A transpose and then its eigenvectors, then we can get U.